Expo is a very special event where kids get to show off what they've learned through project-based learning. Each of the grades has a project-based learning unit that they've been learning throughout the term. And this evening they get to share their uh, public products and they get to do that through a presentation. My students love presenting at Expo, mainly because it gives them the opportunity to speak in front of an audience that is caring and concerned about what they have learned so that they can share it with the greater good. <laughs> It's just all about showcasing the amazing work these young people have done. We're showcasing our hoop houses and our chickens out here, and uh, it'll be a spectacle for all the families to see. It's really important to me that this chicken legacy um, lives on because I think it's really great what we're doing here at Steve. So fifth grade, this year we really kicked off the year celebrating the power and legacy of Africa and it has just been so powerful before we moved into any of the other social studies curriculum and standards that we really took the time for the students really to understand like so much of the history of our own country is rooted in the power of African culture. On the other wall, kind of, they've done it with all of the native and indigenous, you know, land, celebrating that culture, and it's just been a really powerful space to kind of highlight and celebrate and honor the non-dominant narratives that are too oftentimes not centered. We have our salmon in fifth grade, and it's really important to the fifth graders because we, we get them every year. But I felt like no one, we felt like no one else, but the fifth graders knew about them, and they were just wondering blankly. So we wanted to create something that could teach the, um, the kids more about it. So um, it was a whole huge process. So we sketched um, and sketched and sketched. And then Mr. Hat right there, um, he digitalized them so that he could project them onto the wall and we could sketch them actually on the wall. But also people could really get it and interact with it. Uh, the third graders here at STEAM have been working very hard uh, the past couple of weeks on a project that combines their content of weather and geography, Michigan geography. So they've been exploring the question, how can we as meteorologists and engineers design a, a solution to reduce the impact of weather-related hazards in Michigan? And so over the past few weeks, they've been studying weather, they've studied um, the geographical regions of Michigan, and looked at real data about different weather hazards that have impacted each of those regions of Michigan. Um, we want to keep it um, above from the water so the engine doesn't get wet. So from that data, they've pulled um, uh, number one hazard that has impacted their region in Michigan and designed a solution to reduce that impact. And in exploring the impact, they read real testimonials from actual historical weather events in Michigan. Um, so it's been a really fun project to watch the kids engage and you know as we get closer and closer to our expo event um, they just really come to life with sharing their ideas and um, communicating their, their thinking and all of the um, learning that they've made.